My name is Dr. Tierney Teese. I'm a marine biologist, filmmaker, ocean conservationist, and National Geographic Emerging Explorer. My, my overall mission is really to raise awareness of the importance and the wonder of the ocean. Someone when, once asked me, what's the one tool you would want to give any student? And I said, hands down, mask and snorkel. 98% of the living space on this planet is ocean. It sure helps if you can see it. Anytime you step off the land into the blue, you're in for an amazing adventure. I mean, the ocean never disappoints. Anytime you're in that living space, you'll have a surprise. You'll have something you've never seen before. So I also have a particular research animal, the ocean sunfish. The first time I actually ever saw a picture of an ocean sunfish, I remember, it was late in life. I was in graduate school and I saw a little tiny picture of an ocean sunfish on the door of my advisor's office. And I said, that is the most ridiculous looking fish I've ever seen. It looks like a mistake. Where, where did the tail go? And um, I was studying biomechanics in graduate school. And so that was a biomechanical conundrum. <laughs> so I've been following these fish all over the world, from Africa to Bali to California to Japan. They're found in all tropical and temperate ocean basins, but they're elusive. Depending on what country, what region of the ocean I'm in, I look for them in different ways. In California, I can use a spotter plane. Because they come to the surface, they're bright colored. They look like they're just lollygagging, sunbathing. But you can see them from an airplane. In other countries, they don't have that luxury. In those places, I look, I mean, they're, they're really a silly fish. <laughs> they, um, they take, they have a big dorsal fin and they stick it out of the water and they wave it back and forth and say, I'm over here. And so, I mean, they're kind of a biologist's dream. I think we have, we have a lot of bad news, but amidst the bad news, we have lots of reason for hope. We have more marine protected areas now than we ever have in the past, and more are slated to be pushed through. That gives me tremendous hope. I see incredible hope in the eyes of my children and in volunteering in my kids' school, which I think is so important. And I see in them this love and wonder of the ocean and desire to protect it. So working with kids gives me enormous, enormous hope.